welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is Ceci and today I'm doing another video in my series design junkie and I've been trying to come up with the concept of it to better focus it and make it a little bit more easier to understand what I'm trying to do in this series uh, this will be the second video the first one which has been up on my channel for uh, over two months now it's it's one room four different design styles I'm definitely going to continue with that because there are so many different design styles that I want to feature in there I built I used a randomizer to sort of pick out styles and then try to interpret them here in the sims using only sims for content and so but today I want to do something a little different I want to design an apartment for a sim that I've played with in the past and that I will potentially be playing with in a future LP. And so this is kind of how this whole sort of series is going to go. It's not really about building, not really about architecture or anything like that, and not necessarily about recreating something 100% solely from a picture. This sort of series is about showcasing different design styles and trying to translate them from, you know, IRL into The Sims the best way possible. How can we interpret this particular style into The Sims? And so that is what it's going to do, I'm going to be doing and I'm going to do it in real time. So it's sort of like let's build, but like I said, I'm not building anything. If I in the future decide to do an entire house, I will already have had the shell completed and done. Yeah, I'll think about different ways I can kind of incorporate you guys into the whole thing, but hopefully that description made a little bit more sense and you get a better understanding of sort of the vibes. Um, it's really late and it's really cold outside, so it's sleeting. So if you can hear that, I'm sorry. I don't really have time to do... Uh, this at another time so I wanted to do it now but what I am going to do is first off showcase the sim that I will be using today okay so this is Kimber Kimber McRae and if you recognize her she is from my Discover University LP Bailey goes to college. She was Bailey's roommate pretty much Bailey's entire time in college. She's a style influencer and she used to live in Brightchester. I am moving her to San Myshuno so that she's in the city and she's a little bit closer to you know what's happening, what's hot as a style influencer. So I did do a little bit of work on her. Now I do have a new LP with Bailey in it called Just Like Bailey and sort of the timeline in my mind from the time the Bailey Goes to College LP ended and this brand new LP is about six to eight months. So Kimber's gone through a lot of changes. If you haven't watched uh, Bailey Goes to College, I do encourage you to go watch it. I do very story based LPs so there's some really juicy stories and one of those stories definitely involves Kimber here. She went through a huge major life change and whenever I kind of start a new chapter of my life I like to kind of make a physical change to kind of represent that new chapter. Sometimes on purpose and sometimes not. But uh, Kimber has lost some weight. She's still a curvy girl, but she's lost a little weight. I've also, she's also received a little bit of plastic surgery. Um, had some lip fillers. Her nose is a little skinnier. Just to kind of make her feel a little bit more confident. She still has her signature fiery red hair. But her clothes, I hope, look a little bit more sophisticated in style and sort of new and fresh to showcase that she is someone that knows style. So let's go to Kimber's new apartment. Okay, so here we are with Kimber. She now lives, like I said, in San Mishino. She lives in the Spice District, which is kind of convenient because Bailey lit works across the street from where Kimber lives now. I would have put her in the fashion district, but I wanted to put her in a little bit more of a humble uh, apartment for now. 
Maybe when I'm playing with her a little bit more off camera, I will get her a nicer place in the fashion district. But this is where she lives now. If you have city living, when you open up the game, the B Han family, the B, the Bay Ha family, I can't pronounce the name. I do apologize. They live here with their daughter I think I kicked them out they live somewhere else now and I redesigned the apartment to look a little bit more I don't know it's one bedroom now but I, it's a little bit more of an interesting shape we have the living room area here the living room area right here which will also feature the dining room the kitchen is sort of up on a platform um, and then the entire back of the park of the apartment is up on a platform and this is the bedroom and then we have the bathroom so this is the space and the style if you kind of look at Kimber she's a very glamorous looking sim kind of an expensive looking <laughs> woman as well so the style that I'm planning on using for her is a style called Hollywood Regency and this is kind of what it looks like it's kind of a sort of vintage slash mid-century mid-century slash super bright super colorful super bold and I will be honest, I'm really afraid of <laughs> this particular design style because it's not really me. I am more of a very muted bohemian type of look, but I am going to do my best to interpret this style the best way that I can. Um, and yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, so now let's get back to the apartment. As you can see, she has a budget of 51,000 simoleons. That was from selling all of her furniture at the house in Brychester. And so let's start on the living room. As you see, I have a nice white, which I'm probably going to keep because this is an apartment where she pays rent she might can convince let's see what's some good wallpaper that we could use if we wanted to do it up maybe maybe this one this looks really royal i keep going back and forth between the word royal and regent and regency so it can be done in both ways hollywood royal <laughs> regency something like that so maybe we could do that Maybe she's been given the permission to at least sort of put, maybe this is like a stick on wallpaper cause it, well, it's actually under, uh, <laughs> we'll just pretend like she was given permission to sort of redo the walls um, because she does live in an apartment and she can't just redo the walls all willy nilly. But I think that's a good palette to start off with. And let's start off with just the living space. What I hope to have in here is a living space, a dining space, and maybe an office area because she's a style influencer. She can work from home. And so I kind of want to do that as well. So let's go to the living room. We start off with the rugs because for me, the rug is like the base. It's where everything starts. And I was thinking I could use something with like an animal print that would be nice. And this was the one that I was kind of thinking in my head when I was setting up. Because it's it's got gold in it and it's white. It's a little bit of a muted sort of vibe. And so let's see. Let's get into this window and look for a cute little table to put for her television and other storage. I'm not 100% into a TV being backed into a window, but in an apartment, a lot of times that's the only space that you have. So this one's from Eco Lifestyle. It does look nice. We also have this, which could also go with the vibes, because like I said, Hollywood Regency does incorporate some mid-century modern vibes but I was trying to see I feel like it's the catalog has gotten so big that it's really hard to look for stuff we also have this which is from the new paranormal pack which I think I might go with this because it does have some gold 
that goes with the rug there. Oops, stuck it up. So I'm gonna stick that there and like that. And I'll go ahead and put a tiny TV. I could do that or I could do the flat. Oh, I don't want a big one. I don't want a big TV because I don't want to block the view too badly. And I don't even think Kimber's much of a TV watcher. No, 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 she plays video games. She would want a big TV, wouldn't she? How much bigger is this than this? Let's do that one. She does play video games. I completely forgot that about her. We'll kind of have this in the corner out of the way. So in our minds, we can pretend it's actually inside the console. <laughs> okay, so let's do a couch. Again, something that looks super plush and kind of expensive would be nice okay I'm thinking this from the Moschino stuff pack it's that same color in the console but it looks really nice and it looks really expensive it looks like a super expensive couch right like it looks like that cost money all right let's put one more piece of seating in here do kind of like the idea of that the only thing I don't like on this one is it's got silver like metal instead of brass or goldy metal I could and I don't want to use the seat that kind of goes with that or I don't want to use the chair that goes with the couch you have this which looks really cute and I could use where oh we could do that's super Hollywood looking Kind of trying to bring out that gold. Ooh, I love this. This is also from the new pack. I think I'll go with this one. Okay, I'll go with this one. And for the coffee table, I think I'm gonna go with a glass coffee table. Which one do I want? It doesn't that looks it doesn't look like gold. This looks like gold. This one looks like gold. This is from the perfect patio. Kind of, I guess, meant to be an outside table, but we can make it inside if we want to. We also have this, which is also from Get Famous. I think I like this one more, actually. I think that looks really nice. Let's kind of do an overhead view. Yeah, that looks nice. I think I'll just, for now, just have this big stuff here. Let's move on to the dining area. It's got to be a small dining area and probably something that we can push up against that little half wall. Um, so I'm just going to go, I think, with this base game one here. Now let's look for chairs. We can put like three chairs around it. I want chairs that look really kind of super fancy, but like mid-century modern. Did I know that these were in here? I've never seen those. Maybe let's look at this vintage glamour chair in the white because it's got the gold, little sort of white gold looking accents that I think, yeah, that looks really pretty. And I want to get a little bit more lighting in this space. So I'm going to get this sort of brassy gold one and put it here. Maybe this thing here can be off to the side because I feel like this space is so empty. I don't know, I don't think it fits. It looks too 70s and that's not really the vibe that I'm going for. So I think we have the living room and the dining room on pack. Ooh, hold on. I did want to put in this clock. It really makes me think of Hollywood Regency. Okay, now I'm gonna do the office space over here. Okay. Here, let me see. Let me go over, back over to Pinterest. Okay, I wanted to go to the Hollywood Royal Regency page and so that you guys could see it, but apparently my internet is out. <laughs> so I'm just looking on my phone for some Hollywood Regency and I'll be sure to showcase what I find on on the video of what I'm thinking of and again very bright I'm trying to look for something that is showcasing things up against a wall because obviously we're working with a really small space I think I might have got something that we could utilize okay I think I have something so let's go over to our discuses and we have a we don't have a whole lot of desks 
really that fit this vibe. I think the best desk is going to be the one from Vintage Glamour. I think I like this one. So like I said, she is a style influencer. So I've got to also make sure that I have the little style influencer thingy. And she's got to have space to walk, which does mean that it's kind of going to be some dead space here, which I'm not a fan of as far as nothing down here really, but that's kind of where we're at. I was also thinking maybe she could have some upper storage space that she installs. Maybe they can even go. Maybe she can get a little Ikea furniture moment over here. Nah, nothing too terrible. to be big. Do this. We could have this here. Nah, we won't do it. Okay, so we'll have that. I need a chair for Will, for her to sit upon. Move this chair that's cute. It's kind of really blinged out. I do like it. We also have this chair which does go with the legs of the desk a lot better. So I think I'm going to do that one instead. It's a little bit pricier, but we got tons of money. Um, she does need a computer. She had one, but I gave it away. Let's go with a plain white. Okay. And thinking of a little table right beside the door where she could like stick her keys. We've got this that we got from the Paranormal pack, which I think is really cute. I think this is also cute if you wanted to put the, if you've got the, uh, I think it's Spa Day pack, yeah, you could put this on there as like a little um, bar, little mini bar, instead of having to use that dumb globe. Um, but I don't want a bar, a mini bar right there, so I'll probably put that little thing somewhere else. Uh, let's do, there's something from Vintage Glamour in here that, no, 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 it's a lamp. I was thinking about. And there are two kinds of these lamps, actually, because we have the one from Vintage Glamour, and then we have the new one here. This one looks a little bit more homey. This look, one looks a little bit more glamorous, which I do like. So what kind of flowers? I kind of like the pink ones, so I'm going to do the pink flowers. And then maybe one on the desk as well. I'm do a little desk lamp too. That looks nice. I think that's a cute little workspace. And before you walk out the door, you can give yourself a little quick look in the mirror to make sure you don't look like a psychopath. Okay, and then also, let's put a rug underneath her toesies so they don't get cold. Where's the city living one? Does it come in a color, a good color? This is kind of pinky. Yeah, so that's cute. I have no idea what I'll put here. Just got to be able to walk up. Uh, let's see. I'm going to put down some curtains. Okay, put these vintage glamour curtains up, which definitely are lending themselves to this style. And let's put some music. And I think the only one, the only music player that really fits the style that I'm after is this one. Definitely have to play her test it to make sure that she can get around. And I'll clutter it up some more probably off camera just so it looks a little bit more lived in um pretend like she's been living here for a few months so yeah let's move on to the bedroom I'm gonna skip the bathroom it's just a generic little bathroom i have this wallpaper in here which i do like so i think i'm going to keep and let's focus on where to put the bed i'm thinking that the bed should probably go right here in this space I want a rug to throw down first. Okay, to be honest, I think the bedroom is going to be the hardest room to interpret because just kind of looking through all of the the pictures, they're so uh, they can be they can really be anything. Like 
Maybe I can continue with the animal print in here. And I like a black and white rug because it's kind of a neutral sort of pallid. The beds are going to be hard because we only have so many beds and so many swatches. And not all of these beds really lend themselves to that design style. Ooh, this is really pretty. I like the navy and the pink together. I think that looks really cool. I think I'm going to go with that bed. Let's get some side tables. Once again, I think we've got Vintage Glamour is definitely re Hollywood Regency. It's all about Hollywood Regency. Do I want to stick with this wallpaper? Mm. Again, I'm trying to be as realistic as possible when it comes to maybe what we can do is more of an accent wall instead of a full wall. I like that goal. Is there, uh, let's see. Ugh, if only, if only it came in that I think I think it's fine they're slightly competing pinks but I think it kind of works so I'm gonna leave it alone you guys can tell me if you think it works but I think it does and maybe some couple of these mirrors now we are having issues with mirrors in the game hopefully that'll be fixed soon but for now we're just gonna have to deal how about that? Doesn't that look super cute? I think so. And now for over here, I was thinking I would do, stick with that vintage glamour and do one of the vanities. Here, I'm gonna use this chair from Cats and Dogs because it looks super regal. Let's stick that in here for some lighting. And of course we need a wardrobe for her clues and I think again I'm going for this new old standby we've got this one with the pink on it that kind of goes with the wallpaper we also have this that goes with the bed I just don't like the black or we could just do this plain old black and white one which I do think I would prefer have that there and then I was thinking maybe like just kind of like a chair or a couch Ooh, I made a weird sound a chair or a couch <laughs> maybe a fancier couch oh I really want to do this one because it matches the bed but I don't know how I feel about the wood you know what I can forgive it it looks good I can forgive the wood uh, let's do some ottoman seating as well. Okay, so here are the ottomans that we have to choose from. My eye is just being drawn towards this one from, this is a uh, base game ottoman. We do, in fact, have a vintage glamour ottoman. I've never used so much vintage glamour in my life. I think that's probably going to be the best one because it matches the bed frame. That looks cute and we can like jazz it up I'm definitely gonna come through here and do a lot of jazzing up here let's I kind of take this wallpaper and put it up against this oh what is it what would it look like if I just did the whole room it would look pretty yeah let's just do the whole room I feel better about that uh, let's get some artwork on this wall over here oh, I wish this didn't have black in it can we go in here? I was thinking this could potentially be like a portrait of her that was created. Let's put it in our bedroom. Let me get just a touch smaller. She's a serial romantic. She has a lot of suitors. A lot of people will come in and out of this house. <laughs> so we'll just have that there. And then for the cartons, I'm gonna do these curtains from Eco Lifestyle because I think they're muted enough to where they kind of fit the vibe of this room fairly well. This very bright room as well. Okay, I feel like I'm getting the right vibe. It is super busy, but I feel like super busy is what this style kind of calls for. Could be wrong, but just sort of looking at the various reference photos busy seems to be where it is at when it comes to this design 
Okay, so I have gone through, I have made some finishing touches, kind of going through to make sure that I can utilize this space. I just added a few things to make it feel a little bit more homier, some uh, magazines and things like that. And also, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna see and try to uh, play your chest a little bit. I think she should be able to get to everything. She does have to get to the bathroom, poor girl. Don't pee on yourself, let's go. Okay, but yeah, I think that I've managed to pull off the, uh, the Hollywood Regency vibes. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you think but yeah, I think I pretty much nailed it. I am having a difficult time deciding which room is my favorite. I love the bedroom. I'll say that I think the living room is probably my favorite because it's just a little bit more muted than the bedroom is. The bedroom feels extremely busy, but again, that's kind of the style of Hollywood Regency so it's kind of the vibes but yeah I think it turned out really great I added the little clown in the hallway because hallway space really wasn't anything and so yeah I think that this looks pretty ace and a wonderful place for a super sophisticated lady to live so if you enjoyed this video please let me know by way of pressing the like button comment down below your thoughts did I pull off Hollywood Regency in this video and if you enjoyed it and you want to see more content from me please subscribe I try to post every week and I would love to have you be a part of the Southie family as always my name is Sussie and I promise never to break your game bye